Welcome back guys to the second part of assembly drawing. In part one, we have learned how to draw up all these parts. In this section, you will learn how to assemble all these parts. Go to launch, left click, left click on new, metric. Let's go down. If you see, look at the middle board here, you double click on standard millimeter IAM. And now we're going to select these components. I'm first going to save this assembly. Click on save. Call it roller assembly. I'm saving over the previous. Okay, now we have our assembly saved. And I'm going to go to component and place. Sometimes it will be on place from content center. Left click on place and this will open. Okay, I'm going to select all my parts. Since my parts is one of each, one, two, three, four, only the bush will be selected again. So I'm going to go to keeping my control and select everything that I need and just press open. Left click on there. If you want another section, you can click on there, but it's not required. Escape, click, left click, press delete. Left click, press delete. Same there, same there. Okay, now we have these. We're going to go back and get another bush. Place and double click on the bush and left click. Escape. There we have our two bushes. You'll find out if you need any part to be duplicated, you can just click, left click, and left click, and left click, and it will give you the amount of parts that you want. Escape, left click on the bush, press delete, left click on the bush, press delete, left click on the bush, press delete. I also, also want to show you something here. If, let's say, one of these has been drawn wrong, you can go double click on the part, like here, And you get, can go edit this part. Like if you go there, there's all your extrusions and there's your sketch. If you look at extrusion number one, let's say you've made a mistake and it shouldn't be five millimeters. You want it as 10, double click on there. You can type in 10 and say, okay. There you can see there's a thickening there. But however, we have chosen five. So double click on extrusion and we're gonna type in five and say OK. Alternatively, you can go to the part again and open the part and you can double click on your bush. Let's say for instance, the extrusion here should be 50. You will find out that this extrusion will be dictated in the assembly. OK, we have discussed the diameters in part one. Where this is, the outside there is 20, and that is 20, so it will fit into one another. The inside is 16, and that is 16, so this will fit into one another, forming one part. That diameter is 16, that's 16 and 16, so this pin will go right through to the other side where the bushes in the center there of the roller or pulley and the shaft going through. Now pay attention. Right, let's go and assemble. We're going to go to Relations and we're going to left click on Constraint. That's your first basic constraint and this is when you constrain at an angle. That's a tangent and this is when you insert something and that's when you have submit symmetry. But this is your most basic constraint and you can do everything with this one. These can be tested on your own time. Okay. Now we're going to go to our bush, roll your mouse wheel and get it the size increased. Make sure you see your center line. Keep your cursor on there. Click once. The color will change to blue and go for the hole there and make sure you see the center line. Keep the cursor on there. Left click and it will do that. Say apply. 
Keep in your left click and drag this away. Now you can see that you're having your bush aligned with that. It's cent centralized. Okay. So that's centered. Doesn't matter how you're going to move it. It is centered. Okay. We're going to take the second bush and put it on the other side. Let's say relation, constraint. Make sure you see your center. Left click and left click. And it just popped in. Apply. Everything is aligned, you can see. First, align the centers. I'm going to align this center. You can align it with your bushes because it's one center already. Or your roller. So I'm going to go and say relation again. You can do everything at once. Left click and left click. It will apply. You can click apply. And I can go also... And make sure I'm seeing my center there. Keep your cursor. Left click. Now you can choose any of these axes because it has become one. Let's say the bush or the pulley. Doesn't matter where. And say apply. And let's cancel. Drag it. Guys, you can drag it and see what's happening there. Okay. I'm going to put everything aside here. And I'm going to focus on my bushes. Right. Number one. I'm going to go to relations and click on left click on constraint and now you need to zoom. I want this face so you click on this face needs to stop next to this face. You can see the drawing here. That distance there is 15 because that's 5. That distance there is 30 so you will have your bush going in there 15 and the other one 15. So this face will sit flush against that point. So I'm clicking on that face. Now you're going to rotate. Click on rotate. And then turn your drawing. Press escape once. And then keep your cursor on the other face. Click it. You can see something has happened there. This is a glitch I've seen with Inventor 2020. You're going to need to make that zero. And there it is. Sometimes it just throws out the value. It should have just stopped there. Click apply. And there we have our bush assembled. You can see they're moving together now. Let's roll our mouse wheel again. And then we zoom in there. I'm going to click on relation. Constraint. Click on the face there. Go to rotation. Rotate. Press escape once. And left click on that face. Pa! And there you can see it throws out the value again. This is a problem with 2020. So press zero. And you can see that has become one assemble section yes. now let's assemble the shaft to the bracket let's assemble the shaft to the bracket we can see that by this drawing we're having a distance of 70 and there we have 76 so this 70 will stop right here at this point here and we will have the chamfer sticking out so i'm going to do that Let's go to relations, constraint, and I want, I want that circumference to touch this circumference so it can stick out and apply. So that's assembled. Now the next thing is to get the pulley there. Let's go look at the pulley. It needs to be exactly in the center, but we're having a distance. Remember, this is 30 and the bushes is 5 on both sides. So we're having a distance of 4, 0. So we have 30 and there's a 5 there and another 5 on the other side. So the distance is 4, 0. There you can see it fits exactly in the center. However, in real life, you need to have a clearance there to allow for rotation. But however, we'll just follow the drawing. So we're going to go back and say, I want, I want this face, let's say escape, I want this face here, left click, to be fitted to the face there. Escape once and left click on that face. It has jumped out, right, so we just need to type in a zero. For guys using other inventors, you won't have this problem. Apply. I'm not so sure with 2021 or 2019, but I never had a problem 
with any other inventor. Okay, there we go. Clicking home, it's a little bit upside down. Let's just reorientate this. Reorient this and keep in your mouse wheel and drag it to the center. And I'm going to right click on my home button and I'm going to set current view as home. Fix distance. Okay, that's my home view. And if I go and look at my front, let's click here and press on front. Make sure this block is aligned. Because if you're going to produce this drawing, you need to make sure this block is aligned. Right click, set current view as front. And there it is aligned. Now cl click on home, it will go back to that. And that's how you assemble your drawing. The next one is to generate your drawing in the IDW environment. And we will take it from there. In part 3, we will take this drawing and generate this drawing in the IDW environment. We're having a bit of a problem here. I can see that this is not properly matching up. So we, I need to find out what is the distance of this point to that point. You can go to inspect, click your ruler there and measure. Click one side and that will be the other side and the distance there is 70. We are happy with the 70 there. Now we're going to look at the spin. Our pin needs to be 76 millimeter in extrusion. So let's go to the pin. And click on origin there. There's our pin. We need to double click. Let's first go double click on this pin. I need to click on the other side because there's a larger area there. Double click. And now we can highlight our pin. Let's go look at our extrusion. You can see it's highlighting in green. Plus, and our extrusion, double click on it, is 70. It needs to be 73. Sorry, 76. And I'm going to say apply. And it's sticking out a bit there. Right click, finish sketch. Oh, it's going back straight back in. And both sides are the same. I'm so happy that that has happened so that you can see how to edit it. Thank you very much, guys. I will see you guys in the next one. Save your drawing. Yes to all. And okay.